radical. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so I have a couple more thoughts on this whole urinational incident because, well, it's not the kind of thing that happens every day. I mean, literally, there's things that happen I talk about that happen almost all the time. You know, e-begging, gaming news, you know, the Lakers losing. There's things that happen consistently that I talk about. But this is a brand new thing. It's a brand new topic for the channel. Urination, golden showers on a man's face, on stage, by a singer. I don't think I've ever talked about that before. So I welcome the opportunity for new discussion topics. Now, going to the uh, YouTube upload here, two more things I want to you know, get out of the way before I go into some of these comments under this video. Uh, Daytona has actually banned this band from uh, doing their live shows there again, which is not shocking to me in the least. And I don't know if they completed their investigation, but the police was supposedly going to investigate this because indecent exposure might get you a year in jail or a thousand dollar fine. And there's a whole thing that is brought up. Well, is it uh, consent? You know, I don't know if there's like laws on the books for public urination. I think it would just, you know, fall under indecent exposure. But after this, they might be updating that as a different offense. Okay, and uh, looking at some of the comments here, under this video, which is the one I'll link down to below, there's not an official video of this, I believe. I don't think they have an official YouTube channel. So this is just somebody that was at the show that recorded the footage. Hopefully, K Train 2787 Productions uh, didn't get uh, splattered on. Hopefully, you did not. Uh, Maxim Brady, I am very impressed by the amount of water that is coming out of her. I think that might be the top comment, and that has 142 replies to it. That's the thing I find most impressive, I would probably say, is the sheer amount that is coming out of her. I don't know if that's normal. I mean, it's just like that guy got, he got blasted. She must have drank a whole lot right before that. That's what leads me to believe that this whole incident, this whole incident was pre-planned. I don't think it was organic, you know? And uh, Sona M said, keeping all of her fans energetic and hydrated, how kind-hearted she is. Well, you know, in concerts, they charge a lot of money for water. You know, beverages cost a lot of money, especially in the summer. So, you know, there's an argument to be made there. Maybe some of those fans that got splattered in the front row, they were, uh, you know, their thirst was quenched. Jake Wood, this is truly the golden age of music. Uh, Matthew Husler, I'm just impressed that she kept singing in rhythm while a full stream was leaving her body. That takes talent. Now it makes me want to actually try to, you know, sing while I'm urinating. That's something all of us can try the next time we are urinating. You know, pick your favorite song and see if it actually, you know, takes a lot more effort while the stream is leaving your body. She's great at multitasking, I will say that. That silly tank guy, that man just fulfilled his life's greatest fantasy. It's all downhill from here for him. Well, I think everybody reaches that point in their life and they really just come to terms with the fact that they have achieved their life's highest goal. And everything that happens after that moment, it's all downhill for some people. You know, it's creating children. For some people, it's achieving a promotion at work. For that guy, I think it's just getting urinated on stage at Daytona uh, by an attractive lead singer of a band. EOD Voodoo. My gut tells me this isn't the first time for both of them. Yeah, I don't think it was. Uh, that guy didn't strike me as the kind of person that has not had that happen to him before. He seemed very, very comfortable with all that, you know, he wasn't squirming around. He didn't put his uh, hands up in front of his face and she seemed very comfortable doing that. So, you know, I don't know if they're both single, but yeah, maybe they could become an item later on. It's hard to find people that are into the urinal relations is what I'm saying. So yeah, I don't think this was the first time for uh, either of them. 
Stig Curler 11 Bobby. After studying this for a couple days, I'm surprised that the squat, combined with that yell, didn't result in a deuce sneaking out. Yeah, it could have been very possible. You know, a lot of people might point to that yell that something more was coming than just the, uh, just the urine. Because most people, they don't yell when they're urinating. But a deuce, yeah, sometimes you might be like, oh, just depending on if you have a lot of fiber in your diet. I think that was mostly done for dramatic effect. You know, I think that might have been done for dramatic effect. But here's the most shocking thing to me about that comment. He said, after studying this for a couple days, he spent a couple days studying this. There's people that have spent hours studying that. You know what I think about that guy? I think if you're watching that more than maybe, uh, you know, maybe a couple minutes, if you're watching that hour after hour after hour, I think he might secretly want to be the guy on that stage.